Coven Brown has the ball against Bear Jones, shoots up a three, it's no good, rebound, Richardson, game is over, Nebraska wins it, 70 to 67, they are storming the floor. That win over Texas, one of the signature moments of the season for Nebraska last year, and we are joined now by Husker head coach Doc Sadler. Doc, I know you answered this question many times when you first took the job in Lincoln some five years ago, but Big Ten folks have already been asking me, so I have to ask you, how did Kenneth Sadler become Doc? It goes back to when I was young. For the older listeners uh, that watch Gunsmoke, they remember a character named Doc on Gunsmoke. That's the guy that I was named after, so it's been with me for a long time. I'm not going to tell you how many years, but uh, he is responsible for the name, and I hope I've uh, carried it on honorably for him. Now, Doc, I remember that show. Does that officially make me old as well? That makes you old, Rick. Uh, All right. There's not too many people still out there that can remember that show. So, uh, you know, my grandmother was one of them, and, uh, you know, I don't know what age that puts you, but it does put you in the upper echelon of, of, of the age groups. Well, if nothing else, we're certainly off to an honest start for sure. Well, Doc, have an honest <laughs> answer here. In your mind, what's the biggest difference in the style of play you've seen in the past five years in Lincoln and the style of play you expect to see this year when you guys join the Big Ten? Well, you know, Rick, I really haven't had an opportunity to watch a lot of basketball until about the last two weeks, and I've tried to, to pick a team each week to go and uh, just spend some time in watching. And the teams that I've seen play, I think probably uh, the, the one misconception that I've, I've noticed more than any is I think it's a much more athletic, uh, a much more athletic league than what some people have led me to believe. Uh, so I don't know that that's going to be that big a difference. The physical play of the league, I think, is probably just because it's probably an older league. So uh, I think the two things there, the physical play and also the, more, the, the, the teams are more athletic than what I was led to believe is probably going to be the two things that have stuck out so far in the, in the teams that I've watched play. Doc Sadler, great to chat with you. Hopefully the first of many times we get a chance to catch up as you guys get ready to join the Big Ten. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it, Rick. Thank you. It has been more than a decade since the Huskers last made the big dance, but with four starters back from last year's team, they should be a tough out during their first year in the Big Ten. Mike DeCorsi of the Sporting News now with his expert insight on how Nebraska can take the next step in their newest venture. The two elements that have troubled Nebraska basketball as it has transitioned into a more proficient program under coach Doc Sadler have been playing on the road and generating sufficient scoring opportunities. And we don't think that moving into the Big Ten is going to help in either of those areas. The most important thing to me, though, I think in moving into the Big Ten is the opportunity for Nebraska to conquer new recruiting territory. The Big 12 footprint, with the exception of Texas, really doesn't produce enough players for the schools that are still in that league. Kansas, Kansas State, and Kansas don't get enough players out of their state. Missouri in the state of Missouri struggles to get players from home. Uh, Oklahoma with two schools in that state. And it wasn't helping Nebraska to be in that area. As they move into the Big Ten, they get the opportunity to go into Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, all of which produce numerous Division I players, more than can be accommodated by the Big Ten schools in, the, in those states. And I think Nebraska can go to those places and say, hey, look, if you want to play in the Big Ten, we have a home for you. And you can come back and you can play against Indiana or Purdue or Ohio State or Michigan State, and you can get a chance to play in front of your home fans. I think that's where Nebraska basketball in the long term really has an opportunity to make something happen for itself by moving into the Big Ten.